Y'all niggas got me hot. Is we live? Is we live? Is we live? Yes, yes, you are now tuned into the Rare Podcast. And of course, I'm your host with the most, NK, aka the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. And of course, I'm joined by my lovely co host. Let's start with Madame today. Hi, guys, it's Shona. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And of course, let's go with the Broski. Hello, it's Jason, also known as Jay Kwan. Mm -hmm. Madame Ashley will be here very, very soon. But we have a special, special guest in the building. <laughs> so without further ado, madame, introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are. Hi, guys. It's Marsha Brown, mm. um, a radio host, a TikToker. Um, yeah, hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I um, discovered Marsha on TikTok because she has one of the best platforms in terms of just <laughs> reviewing events. Trust me, if you don't know, go to her page. She will put you on the maddest events. <laughs> But what even got you started like um, on, on TikTok? Like, were you doing other content before? Do you know what's so funny? Like, a year ago, I started TikTok. And obviously, I did not know what I was doing. My nieces were like, my nieces are literally 16 and 14. And they're like, auntie, you need to do it. And I was like, yeah, let's be dancing. Let's do what everyone's doing. Do you know what I mean? And then I went to my friend's event post lockdown and I reviewed it. And it got like 60K views and like bare likes and i was like whoa 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 what's going on here so i was like okay like i'm always outside like for real for real so i was like let me just start doing reviews and then one day somebody like shout out the fam this for not fam supporter sorry shout out the supporter because she asked me a question on black owned events and i think from there it just sparked something in my head and i was just like there's there's something here there's, there's a gap that's missing mm. and i feel like i'm feeling it and ever since then Every other day, I have an email. I have somebody inquiring, and it's just like it's going well. Yeah, were you so like before TikTok? Were you always aware about like the different black events? Because I'd yeah, say, I go everywhere. Yeah, I literally go everywhere. But mm. I there's obviously I'll just snap it or I'll Instagram it. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just like there was no need. For, there was no TikTok. So there's nowhere to just be like, okay, this is what's going on. Do you mm. know what I mean? And you have people on Twitter. Like I feel on Twitter, if you had out. If you already have your platform on Twitter, you already have your platform on Twitter. No one's trying to hear you. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just felt like, I feel like this reason why I like TikTok and I feel comfortable to be on TikTok is because I'm literally, I can't bare face. My wig is moving and they still rate it. Like they'll still come to me and be like, oh, we rate your thing. And I'm like, yes, you mm. must. And I'm really trying. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I think it's a good vibe. So what was the one um, event that you posted that got, um, either it was a positive or negative route that you, that you posted that posi- got mad traction? That got mad traction. Mm. So a route that done mad traction. Um, LGBTQ I feel mm. I feel like so many girls now have like messaged me or still even messaged me now and they're like um, I want to go to an LGBTQ event I want to do this I want to blah 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 and I'm just like oh really like I even said I went as far as to say like I went to a straight rave the other day and I was just like I just didn't you, I, you was there I just felt like there was just too much man and they don't respect what you Oh, I didn't say the name, so I'm not going to say that. Chai! <laughs> no, sorry. I'll bleep it out. I'll bleep it out. So, sorry. so sorry. But it just felt uncomfortable. Like, I just don't like stuff like that. Like, and I feel like in LGBTQ raves, even if a girl wants to move to you, they're not moving to you like that. Like, it doesn't, I don't know. Like, I just feel like straight raves are a bit meaty for me now. Is it, is it called the man them or is this called I the think, I just think it's men. No shade, no tea. Sorry, sorry. I love men. I, I love men. I'm not. A, I'm not a men hater. I swear to God, I'm not. But it's just like I feel like men. Some men don't have behavior. Mm. Mm. Do you, you feel like you're such a say? I'm a you say boo? Like, cause you're a guy. In my ear. <laughs> like, like, mm. like it's my beast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she's like honest. Like. Your men move mad and they ruin a lot of things. It's scary. Mm. And when they approach you, it's not even in a nice mm-hmm. romantic way. It's more of a. Oh, let me chat to you. Yay! <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> so, 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 you think man them have a lack of etiquette when it comes to interacting with girl like motive? Yes, yeah, like, why are you touching me? I don't know you. Why are they t- touching you here? How you doing? One boy. Yay. No, no, it's true. One boy at this party <laughs> that I went to, he was like, I know you have a man. I've seen your social media, but let's just talk about it. I said, talk about ah. it. <laughs> but let's talk about when he wouldn't move from me. And I had what to move. I felt so uncomfortable. He pissed me right off. I was like, you've ruined it for yourself. You've ruined it. Like, man said, let's talk about it. What's there to talk about? You don't do that. 
No. Some people, I'm saying some guys, they don't carry shame on their back. Mm-mm. They don't know what shame is. It's because man, them are too horny, bruv. That's the, that's the, I think so. It's just, it's the truth, bruv. But just, what is this horny? This penis that God has given you men, you need to use it for sense because it doesn't make sense. No, it really makes me uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? It makes me uncomfortable. Penis, penis is not everything. I'm horny. Do you see me go around saying, I'm going to fuck, I'm going to do this? No. Mm. That's fine. Respect. <laughs> Go and masturbate. Touch it. <laughs> no, no, I'm over it. True, it's I'm true. over it. A lot it's, of guys, true. It's, it's that, yeah. Plus alcohol in their system. Plus, yeah. I'm not, listen, obviously it's wrong. 100%. Mad them mm. pattern up. It's wrong. I'm just explaining the foolishness. Mad them. They go to rave, they're horny, they see gal, alcohol's in the system. They think no. they can behave wherever they want. But obviously, man them. Pattern up. Relax. It's self control. Relax. It's literally self control. You'd have to go to every party thinking, oh, I want to smash, I want to smash. Go to party, just enjoy yourself. Exactly. Have a vibe. As in, the, the if first you see a sweet do. one, that's fine. That's fine. Even excuse me. If you in the boy had said, excuse me, blah, 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 I'd have been like, oh, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm with somebody. You don't come on. You don't and come just on grab. That vibe. Exactly. Mm. It's so weird. You're mm. making me not like men. Do you understand? Like, I don't feel like men are cool. You're cool though, but men aren't. You're cool too. Like men. <laughs> I get what you mean. This is like you. I get what you mean. I get. I get what you mean. What you mean? You're ruining it. Sorry. I don't know. I think it's lockdown. I feel like everyone's mega horny. Yeah, but mm. why? Like the question. I don't understand. You've seen women before. Like it's nothing new. You, you know what a vagina you've never is. Seen you know what breast is. Locked like up. it's nothing new. You get excited too quickly. I don't. Want, I actually hate men. No, <laughs> I didn't say that. But I mean, like, no, the way you actually hate men. No. They're too much now. Like, no, they ruin a lot of things. Even when I went Jam Juve the other day, yeah. Oh, how was like, it? It was, I can't lie to you, it was amazing. Is it? I've got mixed reviews. Tell me. Do you know what it is? Personally, I feel like these events are for soccer people. If you don't like soccer, don't come in it. Are, you, are you Jamaican? Love, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. You don't look Jamaican. What's really? the other half? <laughs> Grenadian. Okay. I thought she, she was, was African. <laughs> When I first met, I thought she was Nigerian. Yeah, some Afri, you're all right. Nigerian, <laughs> you know, probably my ancestors, you know what I mean? But yeah, like, I actually appreciate those motives a lot, more than Carnival. And that's mainly because of the guys. In Jam Juve, I feel like they respected women more there. Yeah. Like, they didn't talk, they, like, those girls whining, bending over, doing the most. Did a guy go up and move mad? No. But if I was in Carnival last year, two years ago, mm. a guy would grab you, dag you, and any all that, like, it's even the way they dag you as well. Like, what are you? You can't even whine. Mm. Yeah. It's disgusting when a guy can't whine with you and you're whining. Like, mm. Just stiff up. Mm. They're stiff and why? Yeah. <laughs> this is, like, it's not happening, but January, really, that didn't happen to me at all. Like, yeah. I felt fine. Even Wonderland, I was in my full bikini. Mm. Nothing. But do you think, because, yeah, Wonderland. because, like, Jam Driven Wonderland, like, people understand those as, like, a cultural, like, a cultural thing. Because people go to carnival and just see it, like, as a motive. But with Jam Juve and um, Wonderland, like, there's, there's heavy culture. So if people are like, let me come here and respect the thing. Do you get what I'm saying? Probably. But men ruined Dreamland because they came. The day night. So they didn't they weren't soca listeners. Exactly. And they came. Exactly. So what were they coming for? Pumps. Exactly. Basically. Oh. They weren't they weren't coming. That's the thing. They weren't coming. Even with motive, like we just said before, yeah. Even with motive. Like certain man them aren't coming to catch a vibe and see where the night takes them. Mm. They're coming to I'm gonna go rave. I'm gonna grab Nyash yeah. and I'm gonna do, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's why I feel that's that's why I feel ruins events because yeah. people aren't coming there for like Yo, vibe. let's just enjoy ourselves. Let's yeah. see what happened. Yeah, I know they're gonna be gal there, but if it, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Obviously, I was waiting for Ashley to get it for this one, but I, I, it's, it's in my chest. I cannot just not speak about it. Ashley's your other co-host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Go on. Let us talk Ooh. about the yam <laughs> of the carnivals yeah, of the yam. Yeah, go on. Listen, if you haven't checked out the vlog I did, check it out. It's on this channel. Check out the vlog. I went into detail, but for those of you who have not seen, I will just say this. Yam was a travesty. It was an absolute travesty. Abomination. You mean it, as well? Yeah, I went. I go everywhere. <laughs> Ab- he has finessed the community. Not even finesse. Smade is a criminal. He's a war criminal. He mm-hmm. needs to be flogged Crimes at Old Kent Road. Not Old Kent Road. <laughs> he needs to be flogged in broad daylight because he's a criminal. He even has a shisha bar there now, you know. He's a shisha bar? Mm-hmm. Right. Above Tesco in like on um, near Old Cape Road. Old Cape Road is a shisha bar. <laughs> Above it, he has it. It's made. He opened a shisha bar. <laughs> ah, this war criminal. Oh. So Marsha, your so oh, your God, recollect- so random. Hmm, your recollection of Yam Carnival. What was your personal experience of the event? Because me, I've spoken. You 
Yeah, um, okay. Be free, be honest. You're in a safe space. You know what? The honestly, weapon formed against you will prosper. No, I'm, amen. amen. <laughs> no, honestly, like, it was not good, mm. okay? It was not good. It was nothing. It ruined my whole mood. I got, I'm still sick from it. Can you hear that? I don't have COVID, just this disclaimer. Mm. I just caught a cold. But, like, it's the fact that, like, they mugged it. They just mugged it so much. Like, first of all, we got... I already said... They weren't scanning tickets. That's already pissing me off. Like they weren't checking COVID tests. Mm, not to say I have no. COVID, but at the end of the day, I feel like I feel very ill. I don't have COVID, just want to put it out there, but I feel ill. <laughs> and I've been ill for a very long time. It's starting to piss me off at this point. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Um, people were running, the queues, there was no order. Mm-mm. There was just no sense of order. And that is just too much for me. It's Do you ghetto. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's it's giving ghetto. ghetto. And then apparently, what I found out so some boy dm me he was dj in a set or whatever he was doing there um he said that the people were telling the engineers to increase the volume but they were refusing so because they felt they weren't taking orders from a black person i was like are you sure this is the truth but again he didn't have to tell me that again but then again i feel like a lot of people are talking more than they need to be talking these days who wasn't so wait they wanted a dj messaged me i won't say their name um and they were like to me how um basically they work there in terms of audio and um, they told the engineers that they need the volume increased on several sets. Yeah. So the main stage, the second stage they did it yeah. and that's where I think was banging the most. That's where you should have just been for the whole night because it was lit there. Minutes and then people. Y- yeah. <laughs> Minutes the drug man, she was there. Oh yeah, no, it was Stage really, two. it was really, yeah. Room I couldn't even get in. No, yeah. Mm, if you left, you weren't coming back in. It's yeah, I couldn't get in that stage. No, it, it was unfortunate, but Terrible. it was really, really good in there. Um, at the end of the day, it was just, it was, guys, it felt like the Hunger Games. I hated it. I'm not even joking. Was, was you there? I hated it. It was like, no, I had to leave. I didn't see David though. I didn't, I, after that lady performed, I was like, I've, I've done it for the culture. I'm, I'm going home. You right <laughs> now, the, the whole day was shambolic. Yeah. The line that people were waiting for two hours just to get inside the one place. Did they? Yeah, because even, well, I got there at stage two. No, no, the line to get into the venue, oh. the whole venue, people waiting for two hours. The line went around the whole Clapham Park. And oh, it was yeah. just peak because when I got to the COVID place, I just, all I had to do was just show him my car <laughs> saying I got COVID and he was, I, I don't have COVID. Uh, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, just walk. That's it. He literally, they don't check, they don't take it to examine if it's not your name or anything. They just say, go. Oh, he's fine. That's it. it. <laughs> and then when we got inside, I felt bad for Odile because he said it was supposed to be at one o'clock, mm. but people were still lining up. So when we got to the place, mm. there were just people just standing there. I'm like, Odile, everybody knows his music. Everybody will be screaming out 24 eight yeah. and all that stuff, but nobody was there to like be shouting it. Oh. But then that's why Darko brought him back on. But I just thought the whole day was shambolic. Omele, that one I wanted him off stage. Yemi Alade, she came 30 oh, yeah. minutes late. Yeah, yeah, um, that's what Davido I was shouting. No, not shouting. What do you call it? Of course, that's just, what he knows. No, he was shouting, but we could we could barely hear it because the speakers were terrible. <laughs> so that was that peak. But I liked him. But at the same time, I just wanted to go home because they messed up Kalani's set. Hi, a whole Kalani who came from America. You messed up her set. Hi, yeah. And then I just wanted to go home because the video was so long. There was too many songs that he was playing. And I was like, yeah, my feet is tired. Yeah, I'm carnival, and I think it rained. It rained too. I, I don't remember it raining. Oh, you guys left uh, earlier. Yeah. But yeah, when the, June the videos one, it started to rain. Good. Let it rain on ah. that. Let it rain on that whole parade. Anyways, for me, you see Yam Carnival, look into my eyes. It was an absolute shangala hang shambolic. While I said it on the foot, while lows, like any any adjective you can use for me. So obviously I was on black people time when I came late. Cool. Yeah. But when I came, I came like right around about NSG time. Yeah. Okay, same. Go on. And then she was there. Yeah. Oh, oh you couldn't so hear them. Stage? You, main, the main stage. stage. You couldn't hear them. You couldn't hear no, them. No. And there so, they were. Yeah, they were. What the time were they? <laughs> they were like, what's that, three? No, it was even not three. It was like five. Five? Mm-hmm. It wasn't five. It was five. It was like five, four. I've got the footage on my phone. I can tell you the time. Hey, that's so how when I was in the audience, I was hearing energy. I thought it was the DJ just played the No, music. I know what you mean. Ah! No, but I know what you mean. It was that bad. But I literally believe what you're saying. Like, oh my gosh. I, I didn't know what you mean. Mean. It was saying. It was that bad. So I got there. I'm gonna say four. Let's say four to argue, four. but it was, it wasn't, it wasn't. It might be right because I was on the nonsense with my timing. But I wasted my money. I, I you got... wasted my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is so. The way my out, I wasted the whole. I wasted the whole outfit as well. That outfit was nice and uh, just. I know what you mean though. You know I'm saying, saying Smade, whatever your name is. Is it done. even Smade at this point? Because he was grinning all his videos that he posts on his Instagram. I, I don't went even to his follow Instagram him. Because every video was like, go on to his page. He was, page. He was smiling. Like the event went well. I swear. 
Can Your I days are marked. <laughs> Your <laughs> days are numbered. It was like, cool. When I got to NSG, I couldn't hear nothing. Like the sound wasn't sounding. Like it was like, I don't know what the speakers were doing, but they weren't doing their job. Mm. So when I got to NSG, it literally felt like it was just a lifeless performance. Cool. Then I wanted to go see Coffee on the other stage. No, sorry. Mm-hmm. Beanie Man. I, I was supposed to see Beanie Man, but what happened was- oh, I yeah, he was good. I, 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 I feel like he cared about the people. Go on, sorry, go on. Yeah. I wanted to get my food. Speaking of food, the organization of these lines was a travesty. I was in line for be- for simple burger for 30 minutes. 30? For- that's even all right. That's, 30 right? to 40 oh, minutes. Man. It was bad. You no, know, that's peak for you guys. But my friend, we just went straight to the front. <laughs> she said we're not waiting. For no, no, do you know what it was, yeah? Do you know what it was? Because... You know when you're in it, because obviously it was intermission between things. I think cool, ten minutes. I'll be I'll, I'll be in and out. Yeah. But you know when you've invested so much time in the queue, I can't leave now. I hear it because I'm here. So I'm here. Beanie Man is sets playing. Beanie Man is is shouting over the mic because the microphones were not cooperating with him. He had to do above and beyond. <laughs> but they were fixing it <laughs> as he was performing. It was a shambles. Disgraceful. <laughs> so then, cool. After Beanie Man, I, I tried to migrate to stage two for yeah. coffee. You can't get in. They were swinging in there, you know. They had a fire. Uh, I didn't for why they had a fight. Like I had to run out. I was so scared. I yeah, said, yeah, "What's going on?" There was a couple fights. Like, yeah, I saw. I saw a girl get boxed in the face at like Kalani. Still, yeah, some Nigerian girl. She got baps. <laughs> but this is why people don't know. How you know she was Nigerian? She got huh? I know she was Nigerian. Accent. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 no. Why did she got ah. baps in the face? No, did you hear she's so bad. But you know what? Even Drew Davida said there was a lot of tension. I yeah. can tell tension between who. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what's going on here? We've come to vibe. What is that about? Oh no, the vibe was all bad. You know what it was? I don't, I understand because everybody's upset that the event went poorly. It was terrible. Everybody really came for Kalani. She sang three songs and it was peak. So everybody was just tired. The people I was around, they really came in for Kalani. So everybody was literally just tired. So they, I remember there was one girl trying to walk past. You know the people that just barge and they can't say excuse you. The, they fair. would just do boom, yeah, boom. Yeah. And the lady was like, can you not say excuse me? Yeah. And then she was saying, oh, don't talk to me, blah, blah. She's like, F you, F you. I'm like, why are you not, swearing? Not it doesn't F make you. any sense. You're in the wrong for pushing us. Mm. And they go say, next time, just say excuse me. But was like, there was too much. I was just like, I had to leave. It was too ghetto for me. Nope. <laughs> I wasn't born to fight. <laughs> that part. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't born to fight. <laughs> that part. I did not come here to fight. I came here to enjoy, but the Kalani bit, I, I need, we need to, I need to dissect and analyze because cool. After the travesty that was getting into the coffee stage, I'm so annoyed I miss coffee because big up coffee. I didn't even see her either, to be honest. I was I too scared. Yeah, so, I, and at this point, she, was she there? We were hoping. <laughs> so cool. We get to Kalani. We're waiting. Nothing's happening. Obviously, the, um, Eddie Caddy and Manny Norte, they were the hosts. They were gassing up the thing, you know, saying, oh, Kalani's coming on. Be yeah. patient. Kalani's coming on. Be patient. 10 minutes go by. Kalani's coming on. Be patient. Cool. We hear nothing. Nothing. Silence. Then they're like, oh, you know, there's some technical issues, but we've we'll, we'll got to make sure that Kalani comes on. Yeah? People are starting to get restless. The crowd starts to get restless. Eddie Caddy comes out again. He starts trying to recon, um, reconsole the crowd, saying, no, mm-hmm. she's coming on. The crowd start booing. Is Man, it? start booing. Yeah, it's on my floor. He start booing. Well, at least my section start booing. Cool. Kalani comes out saying, listen, it's not my fault. Rare, tear, tear. This is like 30 minutes have gone by. Mm. 40 minutes, there's a logo on the screen saying live music will come soon. <laughs> Jolting. <laughs> Jolting. Eventually, after 40 minutes of waiting, Kalani comes out. Performs. Eventually. The South. Now, she, her, first of all, I must say, Kalani is a beautiful woman. Jesus is Lord. Not Jesus is Lord. Jesus <laughs> is Lord. But anyways, Kalani comes out, performs. Sound is sounding great. Cool. She's like, but she, I feel three songs in, in it. She cuts her set. <laughs> like, she oh. cuts it. So look, they cut her set. Oh, They're like, oh, she, she, she's like, oh, these guys cut my set. Um, it's not my fault. They yeah, cut my that. set. Uh, yeah, these guys owe you a concert. After that. three songs, we be, we waited forty minutes for for Kalani to come out. It's not her fault, like I said. But wait, forty minutes for her to come out. You didn't even let her finish her song. No, you know what? I actually have something so did, to say. Oh, go on, no, go on. no, I just wanted to say this quickly. I feel like black people, um, sometimes I just can't support you. <laughs> I feel sorry. So I just can't because that whole Yam Carnival was just disgraceful from the minute I got there. It's like, I get it. There's going to be a few hiccups, but at the same time, 
sound check should have been done early in the morning. You people Facts. get in there. You yeah. artists get in there half uh, f- during the day, like an hour before you're set. That's terrible. I feel like everybody should have been there at the beginning of the day to do sound check and everything. Why are you taking instruments and equipment from the church that are flopping on stage like that? It doesn't make sense. The speakers kept on going in and out, in and out, in and out. We couldn't hear anything. Kalani said, I don't understand why there was even a delay when everybody else's other set was decent. It doesn't make sense. I felt like it was just terrible. The whole day was just terrible. Kalani does deserve a free concert and I'll be there front and roll centre. She ain't giving us a free um, concert. No, Samade, whatever his name is, he's giving us a free concert. He ain't concert. giving her nothing. You know how many people that he he finessed? But he's, fin- he's been... Finesse you lots. Bam, but he's been But he's been finessing though. <laughs> we can nah, actually call Ofcom. Nah, no disrespect whatsoever, but the facts are the facts. Afro Nation, man, only got their money like two months ago. I'm telling yeah. you right now. Yeah. No, something ain't got their money still, you know. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got your money. I'm the some people. I still haven't got my money. Ah, hey. Why we have to start snitching on some black people? Because I'm sorry, they're criminals. <laughs> you can't be doing this stuff to us. Exactly. Wait, how should to you support your tickets? business. Yeah. How should you tickets? 78 pounds. So, uh, I think it was 78. You're lying. How should you 70 pay? 70 something. I bought that 75. How should you pay? Oh, 60. 60 or 50. God I bought it when it first came out. So it was really cheap. Mm. That way, that was cheap. 50 pounds though. 50 oh, pounds. Okay. Cheap, cheap. You said 77. It was like 54 pounds. Like, it wasn't that That's bad. That's cheap. How'd you but think 78? I want to it was just going up. I feel like by the time I was even telling people, it was around about 80 pounds. Yeah. Pound. And now nah, he's even... All no, like because money. the thing is as well, the lineup looks proper. And, and my, Ari it did, didn't it? Ari yeah, I realized I saw her. I said, oh my God, I missed I out. love I'm you, upset. Ari, but you, no, if I, I'm, I'm even happy that you didn't come because, yeah. because if now you would have, if they, if they had the audacity to mess up Ari Lennox's sound, if they had the audacity, I'm, I'm all right. Stay in the, just come back for a personal concert, Ari Lennox. We thank you. But Remmer said, since Remmer decided not to bring his small self to the not place, small self. why didn't we give it to Kalani? They should have given Kalani to have a longer set then. Because Remmer, Remmer literally had a big set and he didn't even turn up. No, he's looking DLT. And no one so, even apologised. <laughs> to, play, to play devil's advocate... <laughs> no, midget. Sorry, no. Maybe... Sorry. Maybe... Maybe... Um, Yam... Yam had like a designated time to like be out. Because when you do festivals, you've got to organise with the council and stuff like that just to mm-hmm. say we're going to be out from certain time to certain time. So maybe they had to cut Kalani set because... They would have went way over No, but time. I'm saying they should have given her a longer set. So Remo was supposed to be after Yemi or before Yemi. That's what they should have done. But I'm telling you now, the next Yam Carnival, I'm, I'm definitely going to be on the council. There won't be a next Yam Carnival. No, because if they try to, I'll be on the council. They and might, I'll be you telling know, them no. We're not letting Afro these black people back in our area. Oh, but it's not me that person can go to Portugal. That's no, I'm not going <laughs> to Portugal. No. no I that finish was lit though. I'm not supporting. Support. I, I agree that it was. You know what's so crazy? I was standing in the rave, this dead guy <laughs> carnival. I was like, oh, guys, you might have to go out for a nation doing the most. But I cannot. I, I cannot can't see support myself. this guy. Me can't, I can't I support like him. It flops in Portugal. I'm going to really lose it. See, that's the thing. The first one. It was good. Worth taking. It's amazing. Mm, but amazing. I just don't think it will live up to it will live no we'll not live up to the first but one. That's but that's why deep it flying all the way to Portugal and it flopping. That'd be Man, embarrassing. Whatever hotel you're in, I will beat you up. Because right. imagine, imagine that I don't feel like you wouldn't even be there. You don't know? yeah. yeah. just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing at all of us. So we got Madame Ashley oh in the building. So the cop talk conversation is obviously Yam Carnival. You, madam, you attended Yam as well. Unfortunately. How did you feel? But feel free. We've already slated the motive as well. So like, be free. Yeah, Say how you feel. It was just, it was just very lackluster. Like the sound obviously was, I, I was shouting louder than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially because I was there. I wasn't there, but I was there for Beanie Man because that's, you know, my Jamaican. <laughs> wow. How was the sound for that one? Because It cause... was terrible. <laughs> Oh, of Jamaicans. Oh, Jamaicans. I should have left you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was terrible for Beanie Man. Like I couldn't hear. <laughs> I couldn't hear a damn thing. Like it was just I don't understand. Like the people around me, I could hear them louder than terrible. on the stage. Did you feel like when you came out of the crowd? Did you feel like it was louder? Or was that just yeah? Me? Literally, when we were yeah. walking in, because we right. came okay. like just as NSG were ending, because we came quite late. I could hear energy outside, like proper. And then I came in and I was like, we couldn't hear energy. I was like, well, I could hear them out there. Mm. So, <laughs> was, no, we, I don't know. Maybe the angling of the thing, because we, when I was on energy, I'm telling you, I could hear my man and my girl right next to me way better than them lot. And the sound was messing up, man. The sound was bad. The sound was terrible. Any, so there, was there any artist 
that you saw that had a good set? Yemi Alade was sick. She was good. She was sweating. I could see like was she was. It, was the sound cooperating? Yeah, with her? the sound was cooperating. I could hear her. Yeah. She was probably the only person that I enjoyed. And obviously, I don't really listen to her that much, so I didn't know the music. But I enjoyed her still, so it was good. You know what? Well, I'll give yeah. Yemi Ali day. I'll but she did come well, late. She didn't even really like. I didn't even really like it. But I'll give it to her. I say I could. I could hear her. That's why I enjoyed it. Who else was there? Um. Chai. I don't even. Oh, know. the bear man on stage too, no. Obviously, Pastor Lou was there, guys. I really wish you guys had went to set too. Pastor Lou's set was really good. Like, I, I wish I went there, but look, but see, no. Do you know what? It was actually the timing because on the sheet, me and my friends, we planned out one o'clock we'll see Odile, then at one fifteen, on one fifty, we'll go and see um Midas, and then we'll go see Kofi. We all planned it out, but then the thing was that delayed. That situation pissed me off. But with the stage two, because oh it was God. so difficult to get in. in. I wanted to see Kofi so Same, badly, and then I was like, we were trying to in like, the push corner. our way in. I was like, I can't even get so in. So wait, you got in. How did you, because I tried basically- Because I already left after mm-hmm. Beanie Man sex. I was like, no shade, no tea. Like, love him to bits, but I was like, I don't care about this. Do you get what I'm saying? So I went on my little walkie, and mm. then um, Pastor Lou had finished and they were like um, coffee's coming so I was just standing there waiting Fair and I was enough. like let's not move but did you get in though? yeah we were inside and I was like okay this is good it was a good run home but then the, a fight because the way the like, stage was stage two yeah I think the way it's set it's up small, is it's a small tent it's a small tent but the thing is like you can only enter through one way because mm. so where I was like basically from the main stage to stage two they were just hella man blocking the bare thing. people bare people so I think you yeah, had to go around but if you went around mm. like it would have been long for you so yeah, even the or, just the organization. The first and foremost, third artist shouldn't be on stage. Like if they're gonna organize stage two, make it proper. I like the way Wireless does it because Wireless has their main stage and the second stage, but the second stage is still accessible. The way Yam organization was poor, and I'm so sorry. You would have had co- coffee should be on main on stage. On main stage, yeah, yeah, that that main stage. should have been on main stage. That was not coffee that was should be on main part, stage. On their part, that and you would have put Ari on that stage as well. Yeah. On stage two. Yeah, they would have put on stage two. Who's no, Ari? Yeah, no, Ari Lennon. Ari Lennon. They, they, oh. they probably would have. No, no, because if, no, if, if you look at um, the original um, um, lineup here, yeah, they obviously have Carnival stage, which is the main stage, and then stage two. Ari, Ari was on the other stage. Ari yeah. Lennon was on stage two with Coffee. See, they would have all got Eddie. This is yeah. why we say we only support the Caucasian businesses. I don't, I don't, I don't say. You know what? You're on your ones. I didn't Relax. say all of that. Do you know what? It's not even about that. It's just Smain. Smain. Yeah. He's a menace to society. No, but yeah. guys, with that being said, oh, the next signal, day. Do a motive. Not the most signal. The next day. Oh, they should after, do a motive. They're better. Yeah, than him. they should. They be, they're better than him. <laughs> they will do like uh, underground one. You know them ones. Yeah, I think they would. Um, the next day there was a concert in the same place and they also had a sounding problem and it was a white people concert. So I generally don't want to make it a whole smayed hate party, but it was, I Definitely. think it was generally the sounding in general and mm. the people that were working there weren't really Yeah, because I think where we were, where Beanie Man was, we were like right back. We got there late, so we were at the back and um, the one girl wasn't there. She was like, oh yeah, we spoke to the sound people and they said that because of the area Clapham, they couldn't have the sound above a certain level. But it was then just why like, did you book it? why would you let yeah, yeah, Clapham it Common? It was a terrible place. Like, I'm sorry, the service there was even disgusting. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't I hated snap, it. I couldn't tweet, nothing. I couldn't do nothing. Yeah. I couldn't even call my friend to see where they are. Yeah. <laughs> it was really sad. It was, it was very bad. I yeah, think it was, bad. it was actually annoying because I remember the first festival I went to was Lovebox and that was amazing. I went to Lovebox. Yeah, did you go to the one where Scissor was there? Oh no, I went really early in the in life, uh, if that makes sense. No, because I went to the Scissor one and then I experienced that festival and I was like, that's amazing. So I thought Yam Carnival was going to be good like that. But that experience was yeah, I had really, bad. that's the thing that irritated me. I had such high expectations for it. But I was like, I'm going to enjoy, the people on the line, I was, I'm going to enjoy this festival. And no, was it was very was there. It was very meaty. But, and they shagged her like that. Oh no. How? Obviously, I think the general consensus of a Yam Carnival it's was- It's a bill. It's a, it's, it's a yeah. no. Y'all niggas got me hot.